What leader do you choose to be? And do you feel like you are a leader? Stay tuned and you might be winning a one-on-one -on -one session with me to create your unapologetic vision. Bonjour, Life Sparklers, it's Claire. Welcome to the Integrally Alive podcast. Practical wisdom and tools to embody your unapologetic self as an unconventional human and create a life of freedom and joy. As usual, you can find show notes and resources on the website integrallyalive.com. And Monday, I asked, what leader do you choose to be? See, I had to ask this question to myself this summer when I was offered to participate in this book, Ignite for Conscious Leaders. And I've been told it's out on a Friday and might be free for download. Just saying, you will, hear, you will hear more about that. But my first reaction when I was offered to participate in that book was a conscious leaders, me. Because <laughs> you see, I had this grandiose idea, right? Um, Talai Lama, Nelson Mandela, Mother Teresa, Aung San Suu Kyi. Yeah, pretty much leaders, right? Me? <laughs> And I've heard enough people labeling themselves conscious and how can I say that? Um, well, me struggling to see why and how they were conscious. So I really, really am cautious about auto labeling ourselves with these kind of grandiose words. But in the writing of my chapter, these meanings about being a leader, being conscious, they emerged, they changed a few times. And I won't spoil the end, but something about being unapologetic strongly, strongly, strongly emerged. And it's what this podcast is about, right? I'm talking a lot about being unapologetic. And it's a kind of buzzword, trend word. Let's talk about it. So one thing, one big aspect about being a leader is you are leading. Duh. I know, right? Thank you, Claire, for this piece of wisdom. <laughs> well, think about it. If you are leading, you are not following. You are not changing your behavior to please or ease anyone. And it doesn't mean that you are doing your thing and not caring about anyone else but you. Actually, quite the contrary. But you are not going down to the level of fear, criticism, um, expectations. You are taking everyone up with you to the level of self-love, self-acceptance and unconditional love even for people who don't like you because you don't need their approval. So you don't need a following to be a leader. It's all about who you are. It's a mindset. It, doesn't, it isn't defined by a situation. It is much more about going out in the world and instead of asking, do you like me? Is it, is it okay? Am I okay to belong to your tribe? Please. It's about going out into the world, stating boldly and declaring, this is me. I love you whether you like me or not. So I don't need to change who I am or my story for you to accept me. I'm accepting myself. And the magic side effect in that, the very cool magic side effect is you give everyone else around the permission to do the same thing. Be unapologetically themselves. And oh my God, do the world need more of that, really? So isn't that a way of leading? You bet it is, if you ask me, and thanks for asking. And I definitely want to bring it to more people. So you will hear more about these I own my story declarations in the weeks to come. And actually, if you are following me for some time, you already have heard at least two of those. 
And again, more of these interviews and declarations uh, are to come. And one of these could be yours. And it will be my absolute pleasure to facilitate you into declaring yourself boldly in the world. But let's come back to my question. If you were an apologetic, what would it change for you? What would you be? What would you do? If you knew someone was watching and was going to be inspired, how would you leave? I'm very curious to hear your answers to this question. What leader do you choose to be? And if you want to go the extra mile, join my Facebook group, I Am Connected, easily found through my Facebook page, Integrally Alive. There is a button, join the group, and post your vision. Either a post, writing, Facebook Live if you wish, but tell us, share it. And I am gifting a one-on-one -on -one session to help you create your apologetic vision. And that's it for this week. That was your weekly dose of fierce love. A mix of love and brutal honesty. Boom! Life just got easier. Don't thank me. Thank you for showing up to your unapologetic self. And if you like it, great. My pleasure. So join the Facebook group and share your vision. I know you can inspire us and you can be inspired by the tribe. So it might be you winning the one-on-one -on -one session and creating your vision in the world. Stay tuned for the next episode. Au revoir.